for earnings, even though it's not the busiest week, we're only getting a little over three or 800 companies <laughs> reporting. Um, and we're going to have a week where it's over a thousand, but there's so many prominent big cap names this week. It's hard to choose what ones are the must sees, but I pulled out five charts that you really should be watching this week. It's going to give us an interesting barometer on what's going on out there. So let's dive right in and see what they are. So the first one out of the gate has to be Tesla. And this is an interesting chart because when I covered it, Last quarter, a lot of these stocks were heading into or at their all time highs and the trend seemingly was continuing. But since then, as you can see, we've had a pullback with a lot of these high flying big pandemic winner type stocks and Tesla is one of those. Now it is coming off a rare, a rarer, I should say. Uh, Miss last quarter, it had put together that five quarter string in a row of beats there. So it was looking better on the beats situation. But then the, the little smaller miss last quarter, normally nobody really cared about misses with Tesla. And that's probably the case last quarter as well. But we still have the share sell off. And year to date, these shares are only up about 3%. So underperforming the S&P 500, which is up about 11% here. So what will be the direction of Tesla going forward? This is the interesting thing. It's trading at 169 times. Nobody cares, but they care about the momentum. And can it regain the momentum? We'll all be watching. Then we're going to switch it over to Microsoft. Now, this has a little bit different chart. This is one of the few of the kind of big cap growthy type names that has not pulled back. As you can see, it's hitting new highs here and year to date up 17% as it just continues to grind higher. Great earnings surprise track record meeting or beating for five years here. There's not much you can say except maybe is it too pricey here? It is trading at 35 times. So it's getting up there a little bit on the PE ratio, but that's really the only complaint with Microsoft. So this is one everybody is going to be tuning into. Then we're going to mix it up a bit and we're going to go over to the shoe category with Crocs. People might not think of this as a must see chart, but it really is. Not only do they have a good earnings surprise track record with just that one miss there during the start of the pandemic, and then you have to go back to 2018 before you find the other miss. Otherwise, after they righted the ship, once the pandemic hit, they started putting out those big earnings surprise beats. That's what these big, long green arrows are here. Those are big beats. And these shares continue to grind higher, too. Now they've they've uh, hitting the new highs here, the new five year highs. They're up 34 percent year to date. But can they continue with just this red hot gains? trading at 21 times. So not super expensive here. Shoes are hot. Competitor Skechers reported a blowout quarter. Will Crocs do the same? We will see. Then we're going to switch it back over to the techie side and social media with Twitter. Again, it has a pretty good track record. It just has those three misses there in 2019 and 2020, but otherwise back on track the last two quarters with decent sized beats. These shares started off the year pretty hot there, surging to new all-time highs before pulling back a bit on the growth stock pullback, still up 23% year to date. So uh, this is another one. Can the digital revenue continue to see some gains here? Are they adding any subscribers? These are all the issues usually with these social media giants. It's trading at 75 times, but nobody's ever cared about earnings. They care about these other metrics. So that is the thing to watch with Twitter, not so much um, the earnings speed even or the PE, but what's happening with subscribers and that revenue growth. Then we're going to switch it up over to the hot solar side of things with Enphase Energy, ENPH is the ticker. And as you can see, it's been one of the red hot stocks. It's last missed there in 2019. So it has a good earnings surprise track record now. But this is one of the ones, again, that is pulled back off those highs. So if I superimpose this onto Tesla, these two stocks would look a lot the same on their charts. So year to date, uh, and, and phase is now actually down almost 5%. So this is one where we're going to be watching 
to see if it too can regain that momentum. It's trading at 81 times forward earnings. Nobody cared before about that. Do they care now? That's going to be the question. But this is one everybody should be watching. So as you can see, it's kind of an interesting list of the must-see stocks. There are a whole bunch of other must-see stocks too. I could have gone on and on with multiple must-see stocks for this week, but you all know that. You know this is the hot week um, to see all these big cap kind of growthy names. And so this is going to be a turning point for both the stock market and maybe for these companies as we move forward during the recovery. So you don't want to miss a single episode of the Earnings All-Stars videos. I'm going to be bringing you those with the most perfect track records, those that are just basically all-stars on the earnings front and all the hot spectacular charts and there's a lot of them that i can find so be sure to subscribe you can get all of our charts at zax.com youtube on our youtube channel and i'll be tweeting out all these interesting charts including the ones that didn't make the cut because there's a lot of them as i said so don't miss out follow me on twitter at, at tracy Reinick, and otherwise i'll see you again next time with some more charts <laughs>